cosy, colourful and comforting. We'll be talking about the love of jumpers as Giles Brandreth's legendary collection goes on display. Spring might have sprung, but the chances are that you've not cast aside your jumpers here in the UK anytime soon. No, the broadcaster Giles Brandreth loves a snazzy sweater, whatever the weather, and his jumpers have become so well loved that they're the focus of a new exhibition. Lindsay Kinghorn went to have a look. He's the king of the cardi, the sultan of sweaters, and his knowledge of knitwear knows no bounds. But where did his passion for pullovers begin? 52 years ago, I founded the National Scrabble Championships, and at the final, somebody turned up, a Scrabble player, with this jumper, bright yellow with a Scrabble board on it, and the words, Giles Brandeth loves Scrabble. The Brandreth is not spelt correctly, but that doesn't matter, because as with the great carpet designers of the Middle East, they deliberately make a mistake in any of their carpets, because only the Almighty can create something perfect. So it's slightly imperfect, but I wore it, and people noticed it. And it made me think, this is back in the early 1970s, gosh, you get noticed when you're wearing a colourful piece of knitwear. So I thought, hmm, i better wear these jumpers. So I began wearing novelty knitwear. Why didn't the lemon gag not work? Because you didn't time? do it properly. The idea with Sorry. the lemon is you've got a really <laughs> suck, suck, suck. In the 1990s, he replaced pullovers with politics and swapped sweaters for suits. When I arrived in the Houses of Parliament, I put on my grey suit. I wanted to forget the jumper days, I wanted to be a serious MP, but almost the first time I got up to speak, John Prescott, on the opposition front bench, recognised me and knew I was the jumper man and began barricading, going, Woolly jumper, woolly jumper, on he went. I struggled on with my speech, but he kept going, woolly jumper. Eventually I had to pause and point out to him that the joy of a woolly jumper is that you can take it off at will, whereas the blight of a woolly mind is that you're lumbered with it for life. I've raided the basement, I've pulled the jumpers out of the mothballs. During the pandemic, somebody tweeted me saying, desperate times call for desperate measures. We want to see those jumpers again. So I went down, found them, and began doing poems every day in a different sweater. And they became popular once more. I wandered lonely as a cloud. So although his jumpers are well known through television and online, it's world first to actually show them in a museum exhibition. Because it's such a wide-ranging collection, we, the exhibition is actually in two parts. So we've got spring and summer up until the beginning of September, and then from September to December, it's our autumn winter. It's World Poetry Day, and I'm going to share with you my favourite limerick. It goes like this. There was a young man from Peru whose limericks stopped at line two. <laughs> that was uh, Lizzie Kinghorn. It's got reporting. everything, that report. It's everything. brilliant. I remember Giles Brandreth uh, on one of the Jubilee days turning up and he was on the breakfast set ready to do an interview uh -huh. and he was wearing a beautiful purple jumper with a big corgi on it. Oh, that's great. all we need. You're great. You but we want to hear from you. What colourful cardies or jazzy jumpers have you got hiding in your wardrobe? Uh, yeah, please send us a picture. Can we also say that picture still <laughs> amazes me? <laughs> It's the hair, the face, the everything. Giles, we love it. Um, so send us your pictures. Uh oh, I love that. That was Lizzie Kinghor uh, Kinghorn reporting. And um, my favourite Giles Brandler story is during the Jubilee, actually, yeah. and, and jumpers. And we were there, he was about to go on breakfast, and he turned up and he was wearing this glorious purple jumper Very with a regal. corgi on it. And it just made everyone smile. And you a know, corgi on it. had a corgi on it, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what could be more appropriate? Never, uh, he must have a jumper for every possible occasion. I know. Well, they're talking about keeping them in his basement, that uh, he's probably got an entire basement full of jumpers. I hope he has a lot of um, kind of mothballs and stuff to keep them safe. Yeah. Uh, well, we asked you to send us pictures of your own uh, silly sweaters, creative cardies, and oh, you did not disappoint. Of course you did not. Should we take a look at the first one? This is Jane. She's sporting this jazzy jumper that her auntie made her back in 1982. That was a year before she got married to her husband, Adrian, and the pair have just celebrated their ruby wedding anniversary. What do you think they wore? Jumpers? Congra yeah, I hope they wore that. <laughs> uh, congratulations on that wedding anniversary. Uh, everyone loves a Christmas jumper, of course. Uh, no one more so than Robin, oh. appropriately named. Uh, in Hertfordshire, uh, he has a wardrobe for That's quite a selection. It is. We said that we weren't going to allow Christmas jumpers, but actually that's such a spectacular image that I think we had to, had to be let in. <laughs> um, should we have a look at Claire from uh, Leamington Spa? Now, she even designed and knitted her own special jumper <laughs> for the Sultan of Sweden. Who wrote this? Uh, Giles, <laughs> last year. Look at that. Giles Sultan. Brandreth, it says. Sultan of Sweaters. 
Uh, and the age-old debate of dogs versus cats, of course. Uh, this is for Joanne uh, from Gateshead's uh, fantastic feline jumper, accompanied by her little pooch. Oh, lovely. And this viewer made this gorgeous knit for her dog, Pebble, known as the Rebel, so that she could attend her local football match at Warrington Town in style, in style and nice and warm. We should have stipulated the rules of this competition a little <laughs> clearer. Late now. No animals, no Christmas <laughs> jumpers. But nonetheless, they were very cute. Uh, and you can't get much more colourful than this crochet jumper. Lovingly made by June in Gosford uh, for a sister-in-law, Kate. Oh, that's quite impressive, Love isn't it? that. That's good. Uh, yeah, no, that is very good. No, yeah, brilliant. Very, very impressive. I'm kind of feeling now that my... Wardrobe's a little bereft of jazzy jumpers. Look how boring we look this I know. morning, like, compared. We should have brought, yeah. Um, well, but I'm not asking anyone to send jumpers. <laughs> send them to Giles. That's yeah, fine. send them to Giles, exactly. <laughs> Shall we move on? Shall we? OK.